Hello and welcome. In this video, I will show you how to create a widget that displays a vertical bar chart with two data sets. The fifth chart of the column widget is a chart column 5 class. First, you need to create a chart column 5 class. The child of the chart column 5 is a card widget, which will create a rounded rectangle with a shadow effect. We set the color to a white color, which will define the background color of the card. We set the surface tint color to a white color, which will define the tint color of the card. We set the shape property to a rounded rectangle border widget, which will create rounded corners for the card. The child of the card widget is a column widget. The first child of the column widget is a container widget which will display a row of widgets with a title and an image. We set the padding property to a constant edge insets widget which will define the amount of space inside the container. The child of the container widget is a column widget. The first child of the column widget is a row widget. The first child of the row widget is an expanded widget which will take up four times the space of the row. We set the flex property to four, which will define the proportion of the space taken by the widget. The child of the expanded widget is a column widget. The children of the column widget are the widgets that display the text stacked column chart. We set the style of the text widget to have a font size to 26 pixels, a bold font weight, add a black color. The second child of the row widget is an expanded widget which will take up two times the space of the row. The child of the expanded widget is an image widget which will display an image from the assets folder. We use a size box widget, which will define the amount of horizontal space. The second child of the column widget is a size box widget, which will create some space. The third child of the column widget is a fitted box widget, which will scale the child to fit the available space. The child of the fitted box widget is a wrap widget, which will wrap the child widgets to the next line if there is not enough space. We set the spacing property to 10, which will define the amount of space between the child widgets. The children of the wrap widget are the widgets that display the choice chips. The selected chips variable is a string that stores the value of the selected choice chip. The chips variable is a list of strings that stores the values of the available choice chips. We use the map method to iterate over the chips list and return a choice chip widget for each element. We set the label property to a text widget which will display the category value. We set the label style property to a text style widget, which will define the appearance of the label text. We set the selected color property to a color widget, 
which will define the color of the chip when it is selected. We set the background color property to a color widget, which will define the color of the chip when it is not selected. We set the show checkmark property to false, which will hide the checkmark icon on the chip. We set the selected property to a Boolean expression, which will check if the selected chip's variable contains the category value and return true or false accordingly. We set the side property to a border side widget, which will define the appearance of the border of the chip. We set the shape property to a rounded rectangle border widget, which will create rounded corners for the chip. We set the onSelected property to an anonymous function that takes a Boolean parameter, which will be called when the chip is selected or deselected. We use the setState method to update the state of the widget. We use an if statement to check if the chip is selected. If the chip is selected, we assign the category value to the selected chip's variable. The fourth child of the column widget is a SF Cartesian chart widget, which will display the stacked column chart. To use SF Cartesian chart in Flutter, we need to add these packages to our pubspec.yaml file, like this. We set the margin property to a constant edge insets widget, which will define the amount of space around the chart. We set the border width property to zero, which will remove the border width of the chart. We set the plot area border width property to zero, which will remove the plot area border width of the chart. We set the primaries axis property to a category axis widget, which will define the x axis of the chart. The is visible property sets whether the x axis is visible or not. The value false means that the x axis is not visible. We set the primary axis property to a numeric axis widget which will define the y-axis of the chart. We set the isVisible property to false, which will hide the y-axis from the chart. We set the minimum property to zero, which will set the minimum value of the y-axis to zero. We set the maximum property to two, which will set the maximum value of the y-axis to two. We set the interval property to 0 0.5, which will set the interval between the labels of the y-axis to 0 0.5. The class chart column data defines the data model for the chart. The constructor of the class takes three parameters, x, y, and y1, and assigns them to the corresponding properties. The x property is a string that represents the label for the data point on the x axis. The y property is a double that represents the value for the data point on the y axis for the first series. The y1 property is a double that represents the value for the data point on the y axis for the second series. The variable chart data is a list of chart column data objects that contains the data for the chart. Each element of the list is a chart column data object that defines a data point for the chart. The first parameter is the x value, the second parameter is the y value for the first series, and the third parameter is the y value for the second series. The series property sets the list of Cartesian series widgets which define the data sets that are plotted on the chart. We set the data source property to a constant list of chart column data objects which will provide the data for the chart. We set the width property to 0 0.8, which will set the width of the columns to 0 
we set the color of the columns. The X value mapper property sets the function that maps the X values of the data points to the X axis values. The function takes a chart column data object and an index as parameters and returns the X property of the object, which is a string. The Y value mapper property sets the function that maps the Y values of the data points to the Y axis values. The function takes a chart column data object and an index as parameters and returns the Y property of the object which is a double. The second element of the list is a column series widget which creates another column chart to represent the data. We copy the first column series widget and change the color of the columns and the Y value mapper property. The fifth child of the column widget is a row widget. The children of the row widget are the widgets that display the labels for the data in the chart. The first child of the row widget is a container widget, which creates a rectangular box with a color and a shape. We set the width of the container to 27 pixels. We set the height of the container to 13 pixels. We use a box decoration widget to create a color and a border radius. The second child of the row widget is a size box widget which creates some horizontal space between the container widget and the next widget. The third child of the row widget is a text widget which displays the words Apple. We set the style of the text widget to have a font size to 14 pixels, a medium font weight and a black color. We use a size box widget, which creates some horizontal space. We copy the container and text widgets and then change the words and color. We use a size box widget which will create some space between the widgets. The seventh child of the column widget is a text widget which will display a short description of the data. We set the style of the text widget to have a font size to 16 pixels, a normal font weight and a gray color. We use a size box widget, which will create some space between the widgets. The second child of the first column widget is a container widget, which will display a row of widgets with an avatar, a name, a title, and a message icon. We set the padding property to a constant edge insets widget, which will define the amount of space inside the container. We use a box decoration widget to create a color and a border radius. The child of the container widget is a row widget. The first child of the row widget is a container widget, which will display a circular shape with an avatar image. We set the padding which will define the amount of space inside the container. We use a box decoration widget to create a color, border and a circular shape for the container. The child of the container widget is a clip rect widget, which will clip the child to a rounded rectangle. We set the border radius property to a border radius widget, which will create rounded corners for the clipping. The child of the clip rect widget is an image widget, 
which will display an image from the Assets folder. We set the Scale property to 3, which will scale down the image by a factor of 3. We use a sized box widget, which will create some space. The third child of the row widget is an expanded widget, which will take up the remaining space of the row. The child of the expanded widget is a column widget. We set the cross axis alignment property to cross axis alignment dot start, which will align the widgets to the start of the column. The children of the column widget are the widgets that display the name and the title. The first child of the column widget is a text widget, which will display the name Jerome Bell. We set the style of the text widget to have a font size to 22 pixels, a bold font weight. The second child of the column widget is a text widget, which will display the title Marketing Coordinator. We set the style of the text widget to have a font size to 16 pixels, a normal font weight. We use a sized box widget, which will create some space. The fifth child of the row widget is a SVG picture widget, which will display an SVG image from the assets folder. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.